Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings, a Lord of the Rings collection. And today we're gonna build an awesome Lego set of Gandalf and the Belrog of Durin's Bane. This is a gift from my Patreons for my 5,000 subscriber milestone. Thank you so much, guys. It was so nice of them. I'm gonna put a, uh, their names at the end of this video, and I've done two other videos already of the two other sets. They got me all three sets, so check out all three videos. This will be the last one, and super cool. We'll do a time lapse. We'll build it. I'll show you some up close stuff, and yeah, it's pretty darn cool. So thank you so much, guys, again. I really appreciate it. It was a very nice gift, and uh, let's build it. Here we go. Why, hello, and welcome to the next part of the video where we do the unboxing and the time lapse, my friends. I hope you're all having a great day. And here we go. We're going to do the Belrog and Gandalf the Grey version of this Lego set. It's fantastic. Thank you again to my Patreons for getting these, as you heard at the beginning of the video. Um, but it's, this is the biggest one out of the three sets. There's 348 pieces. I'm assuming that's just because the Belrog's a big boy. That's what I'm guessing. So anyway, let's open this. I'm going to time lapse it for us right now. There is a <laughs> actual size, the Belrog's eyes. Sounds like uh, the kids next door are having fun playing something. You can hear them squealing. All right, anyway, there we go. Look at that. So this is the set we're building. We already built these two sets on the channel. So if you want to check them out here on the same collection playlist. And if you do enjoy yourself, don't forget to like and subscribe. But here we go. We're going to time lapse. We're going to open it up right now. All right, so let's start with opening them up here. There we go. Perfect. All right, so here's what we got. We got the Belrog is a much, much thicker manual here. So yes, he's got more pieces, obviously, than Gandalf. All right, and then let's see who's who. Gandalf is number one here. Of course, he's our number one wizard. All right, one, one, two. That's the Belrog. Two, two. All right, so those are the Belrogs. This is Gandalf. We will start with Gandalf. We will finish with the Belrog. Let's do some time lapse. Here we go. Alrighty, so here is Gandalf the Grey. Very cool indeed. Look at how cool he looks. Let's get a little bit more light on him here. There we go. Very cool indeed. I like this one. Give light. There, look at that. Alright, so the first thing I really notice is I love how they did the hat. So obviously the pointed hat, but they made it flopped over. Like, I love that, how they did that with the Lego and the hat. I love, his hair is cool. It looked cool how it looks like you can see his cape coming out right there. His cape just kind of appearing. It's very cool, his little staff, you can see his hair. It's really well done. Look at that, look at his little beard. He's got his little, you know, walking stick or <laughs> staff. You wouldn't depri deprive a man of his walking stick, now would you? <laughs> An old man. There we go, there's his sword. Very cool, I love him. All right, let's do the Belrog. 
All right, guys, it's time for the Belrog. Let's open them up. There's that one. Lots of red pieces. Oh, look, there's his little whip. <laughs> little whip, that's funny. He's got two little whips. I guess they gave him extra just in case, you know, one gets lost. You know, I always got to keep an extra fire whip ar around. <laughs> yes. All right, and then here's a lot of his little glowy pieces and small pieces. There they are. All right, perfect. Well, let's time lapse it and build it. All right, here is the completed Belrog. He is super cool. You notice the lighting changed just because my power keeps going in and out on my house. So um, during this build, luckily enough, I was recording with my phone. So good thing I wasn't doing recordings on the computer. <laughs> That's a convenient for me at least. Um, but the lighting, I mean, she's in the outside lighting right now. So, but there he is. He looks awesome. I love his little mini, um, little mini uh, whip. I would say I would have liked a little mini uh, fire sword or something. He's got a hand, but I mean, there's a little like stick here, but I guess, you know what we could do? What we could do is we could just, you know, he could dual wield fire whips, which is also pretty cool. So um, he's a dual wi wielding Belrog fire whip. Um, there's a couple things that really stand out to me that I really like how they did. For one, the horns look amazing, how they did the horns. Here, I'll try to get the lighting on it nicer there for you. As you can see, uh, those are just so cool how they made them look like the curve, kind of like the movie version, right? Um, and then, uh, this is obviously based off the movie. I like how he's stepping and the fire is, the, excuse the sounds, that's the power coming back on my house. Um, the fire coming off his legs. Right there, wow, look at that. Very cool. Um, the tail is awesome, I like the tail. It's an interesting little touch, considering we didn't really see much of a tail in the movie, but um, it is kind of an interesting. Again, the movie, I feel like they tried, Peter Jackson tried to do more of the demon look, right, for the Belrog, which they are kind of a monstrous creature like that. I love the top of his head, the fire. I love the wings. I like, of course, obviously they're for the front, right? Again. There's a whole thing about do Belrogs have wings? I think it's more of a smoke, less of an actual physical wing. But I must say the wings do make them look very cool. They make them look like fallen, 
demon creatures, right? Which is kind of what they are. So, anyway, really cool. I love the little face. <laughs> I really think he's really cool. I love the fire again. Look at the sunlight coming in on it. It looks really cool how they did the fire all up along the head and along the top of the back of the tail here. And then like where he's stomping on the ground. Very cool. Again, the color coding is fantastic for these builds. Lego must is doing a really good job of making it really easy to follow. The internal pieces you don't see are all bright, crazy colors. So you don't get all these massive amount of just black Legos, right? Because that's the worst. You're trying to find a Lego and they all look the identical color. So I think it's neat how the inside that has nothing to do with what you'll see are totally bright, crazy different colors. So it makes sure you don't confuse certain pieces. So anyway, pretty cool. Again, it's a, uh... yeah, I love it. Very cool. Thank you so much, my wonderful Patreons. I love these, they're so cool. Let's, uh, let's get Gandalf next to it here. All right, here's a uh, Gandalf and the Belrog. There they are. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Awesome. You shall not pass. Into the jacuzzi of the depths. Oh, I did it. No! Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, Frodo. Yes, Frodo, and uh, thanks, Patreons, and all of my wonderful, uh, thanks, Scully, for being real guard, and thank you guys, you're the best. Have a great day in Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys, have a great day in Middle Earth. Stay happy. <laughs> <laughs>